Hi everyone, my name is Caleb and I thought I would just make a tutorial on how to actually create a tile-based map using arrays in JavaScript. This would be useful if you wanted to do something like make a platforming game in JavaScript. It's also for useful for other things like slideshows and whatnot, but we'll be using it for making a map. So what you want to do is you want, we're going to be using jQuery and the first thing you want to do is open whatever text editor to use. In my case I'm using Dreamweaver. And this is going to be using jQuery as I said, so what we want to do is put that on the top. And make sure you always save your work frequently. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is create the array. So you do this by creating like you would any other array as a variable. And forgive me if I'm wrong with this, but I believe this will be a two-dimensional array. And like I said, this is just going to be a basic thing, so... And I didn't think of this before, but there's quicker ways of doing things. Alright, there is... Let's add a couple other numbers, numbers in here, actually. So, what you want to do is you want to look at each one of these and figure out how tall and wide you want each one of these to be because we're going to loop through this array and every time it hits a certain number it's going to create a new element in the page. So we're going to be doing this in CSS. So we'll just call one grass. Actually that's not an ID, we're going to give it a class. It'll be more than one. And we'll make another one called dirt. And we'll just do 15 by 15. Actually, just to make things a little bit easier, we'll just do 10 by 10. And the reason why we want to float these to the left is because that is how the tile map actually works. If it goes through each one of these first and then the next line and the next line, otherwise it won't look right. It'll just go straight down. Now what we want to do is we want to make a container to hold these other elements. So we can just go down here and give this an idea uh, this div an idea of container. And everything is going to go inside there. We'll place it inside there with JavaScript. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five by five. Five across and five down. So that'll just be 50 width, 50 pixels, height, 50 pixels, position relative. And we'll give this outline so we can see where this is. And we won't be using images for this, we'll just use colors. So we'll just use a background color of green, obviously for the grass. And for dirt, we will use background color tan. So now we want to create the function and we'll call this draw map. And we want to on the window on load. Execute that function. So the next thing you want to do is you want to loop to the array two times actually. Well, not two times, but you'll see what I'm talking about. And 
And then we want to make another for loop inside of that one. Now, after doing this, this will basically cycle through each one of these positions in this array. And you want to tell that you want to give this basically a conditional statement. So I'll say if map array ij is equal to zero, do this. But first of all, because we're using numbers, we have to parse the integer or else it'll just view that number as a string. So now we can use our jQuery here to basically create an element inside a container and give it the class name of grass. So we'll go because we want to place it inside of container. Append that means we're going to be sticking this div inside of container. We're going to be appending it. Oh, no, wrong way. Div class equals grass. And something to look out for, if you use a single quote instead of a double quote to put inside there. Make sure that, um, what you use to declare the class is a double quote and vice versa. Otherwise it won't work. And then we'll want to do the same thing if it's a one we give it an ID of, or a class of dirt. So let's see what this does. And you see how that worked there? Here, just to make this a little more seeable here, we just added 50 more pixels onto it, so we will add five more positions to each line. And there you have it. This would be really useful if you wanted to, like I said, make a platforming game or also just make an RPG. Um, it makes things really easy, like when you want to create a map. So there you have it. Um, if you need any help with anything else, feel free to message me or comment on this video.